Oh, good morning. This is our, our stand. We have a light on here for night. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, it's really cold out. I mean, you can tell it's, it's winter. But we've actually put a pad underneath the uh, refrigerator here and it's pretty warm and it keeps that from the eggs from freezing. And if it gets too cold, we bring the eggs in, but it, you know, it, it helps a lot. And this is where we sell our eggs, or a lot of them. We have a, <coughs> they come right up here on this row, our side road here. You can see. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty cold out. I'm dressed up. I haven't got my jacket on yet, but I'm getting there. Just part of the farm. Now I gotta go do chores. Well, we're supposed to get a snowstorm. Um, well, it's more like lake effect up here tonight and tomorrow. I don't know how much we're gonna get. They've been wrong so many times. It's like, uh, you might as well just stick your head out the window and look around and see what's going on. But I'm gonna put a big round bale in the feeder out back for the cows and I'll cut a bale up and uh, and I'll put, uh, I'll spread that into that barn right there. I'll open that door and I'll cut up a bale with a manure spreader and throw it in there. I do have a lot of square bales and some round bales yet to feed out, but um, i trying to use up the, the big round bales first. That should get me right through into At this point, probably into March, and um, get me right into spring and do more baling, I guess. But I'm gonna get that going, and uh, I'm gonna put the uh, goat hauler back in the back of this truck, back here, um, in the back here, because uh, it'll put weight on the back, and you know it's good for the road. I don't have to use four wheel drive. Uh, let's get going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, put a big round bale up in this spreader here. And, uh, first, we got to get this old tractor running. It starts, even in the dead of cold. It'll, it'll. 
it has glow plugs in it and um but it but it starts well now it's gonna smoke i mean if it was rebuilt and everything but this tractor is 50 between 50 and 55 56 years old i don't i could look it up and again in the if i got the serial number but when she's running she runs just like a top so it's just when it's cold and you first start it it'll, you know there's a couple cylinders or one cylinder that just won't fire until it warms up but here we go <laughs> especially in the cold. See these containers here I have two of them here Let's see if I can get you out of here I'm actually using the cup holder that cup holder right there to film there's two containers actually one's taller than the other now that I notice now that I looking now that I looking no no it's not it's just up on a brick there but I want to move these two and uh, I want to build a barn in between them. It's, I know it sounds strange, but you look online, you look at people building barns with containers and it'll show you how they're doing it. I want to take this one and that one and put them over on the other side of this building here and make my chicken barn. So it'll be 40 feet long because these are containers are 40 feet. And on either side of the barn will be storage because they're storage containers. Well, my plan is to put the poles up on either side of the building are these containers on here and then on the course on the other side there and have it about 40 feet apart. And it'll be a 40 by 40 barn inside between these two containers and then i'm going to make i would like to build the roof out a little bit longer you know say to about i don't know maybe another 10 feet on the other side of this door here that way you can the containers will be enclosed inside and they'll be storage for well, you can get you can see the corn in here and uh I can um, store corn in there or whatever I want on each side of the barn. And these two containers will be the, uh, the structural point for the roof to sit on. And um, I think it'll work pretty nice. So I fed corn and uh, it's time to Use my handy dandy chainsaw, cut that bale open. It's 
just a home light 18 inch bar you can see it right there cut the bale right open and uh, it's a little windy so I'm hoping I can do it because when it spreads the hay it throws it but it's wind is going from west to east so hopefully it'll blow it right into the barn because that way is east but uh, it works really nice I know for the bigger farms they would want to be cutting the bale open with a chainsaw and that kind of stuff but for me you know even I'm feeding 40 goats and 10 cows and all these chickens chickens don't use much hay but I do use hay with them and uh, well let's get this cut open and and uh, see what I can get done So basically, you can see, it just cuts it right open. You know, everything cut right open. And then the uh, beater bar just rips it apart from there. Works real good. The bale should have been up a little bit further, but it'll work. Just uh, giving you uh, a view of that, what it looks like. Well, it took, took uh, all of 30 seconds to cut it open, not bad.
open the door a little late because one day I walked out there and uh, my arm hit the beater and that hurt bad. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I did a bunch of things uh, with the farm. I put my grader blade back on just in case we get snow again. That's what they say we're gonna get. And that's my goat carrier right there. Uh, it has doors on either end so you can open it and just keep the tailgate open. But I'm not going to get any goats. I'm just putting it in there for the weight. In case we get snow again I don't have to put it in four-wheel drive it just that thing is at least 300 and some pounds so oh I'm done doing all that I go home a little bit for a little bit and uh, and then um, basically come back and do chores for tonight get done had the car inspected today the stupids uh, cost us 160 bucks because they had to change a lug nut. Said one wasn't safe. Of course, Mary Ellen went there and, you know, I think a lot of shops just abuse women when it comes to fixing cars. Okay, well, um, thanks for watching Farming with George. Uh, tell your friends to watch and subscribe. Tell them just if anybody's watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you like them. Sure help me out. I mean, uh, I know everybody's screaming, hey, uh, whatever, whoever's doing YouTube or whoever, wherever, they want you to like and subscribe. But if you're doing this, you understand why. Because it just, it's kind of tough. <laughs> It's not just, you know, hey, grab a camera and here we go. You know, like you see a lot of the people just grabbing their camera when something's going on and they throw it up on YouTube and it gets, um, you know, viewed, a lot of views or what have you. But doing a actual thing where you're doing kind of every other day, every three days, a video or something, you know, you got to spend a lot of time doing it, so... I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you. See you.